Our sun is at the centre of the solar system, and luckily for us it's a mundane star. But what if it was something stranger, something more dangerous? What if the sun was a black hole? Although we can't turn the sun itself into a black hole to see what would happen, we can use our understanding of physics to simulate what exactly would happen. Here we have our simulated solar system. For each second that passes for us, one month passes in the simulation. You can see the paths that the planets trace out in their orbits around the sun, and the familiar sight of the Earth from space. In the simulation, we can change whatever we want. So with a click of my fingers, I'll change the sun into a black hole with the same mass as the sun. Three, two, one. In the simulation, the effect of changing the sun is instantaneous, but in reality, it would take time for the universe to realize what exactly happened. And that time depends on the distance and how fast the information can travel. Both light and gravity seem to travel at the speed of light, so on Earth we wouldn't realize for eight minutes, since that's how long it takes light to travel the distance between the Earth and Sun. The much more distant Jupiter wouldn't realize for 40 minutes. But what exactly has happened? For our simulated solar system, it seems like nothing much has changed. The planets, dwarf planets, and asteroids all still go around this new black hole. Although the change looks pretty extreme to us, orbits only care about gravity, and gravity only cares about mass. And since we kept the mass constant, nothing actually changed here. Everything in the solar system will continue to orbit this black hole, just as with the sun. They won't get sucked in or torn to pieces. They'll simply continue to follow the rules of our universe and orbit the black hole like nothing changed. So that seems a little disappointing, but let's check back in with the Earth. How are we all doing with no sun in the sky? Ah, it seems we find ourselves in a never-ending night. The sun is of course the main source of light for us, and this black hole doesn't emit any light, so the Earth is in darkness. And since the moon and everything else in the solar system reflects the sun's light, we can't see them either. The only way we can still tell they're there is by spotting stars that disappear and reappear across the night sky, from the moon and planets momentarily blocking out their light. Without the sun, there are no more bright wanderers in the sky. All we have is starlight. But aside from the darkness, would we be okay? Let's turn a light on and look at the Earth. Well, it only gets worse. The surface of the Earth has frozen over. Without the constant stream of energy coming from the sun in the form of sunlight, temperatures have plummeted as the Earth radiates energy away into space. Eventually, Earth's surface will reach a freezing minus 270 degrees Celsius, the temperature of space. At this temperature, even the gases in our atmosphere will freeze. There will be nothing left for us to breathe. So in the end, turning the sun into a black hole doesn't seem too good for us. Although orbits and gravity only care about mass, and didn't mind the change, we certainly do mind. The sun's energy is key for life here on Earth, and without it, we're lost in a frozen void.